inspiration of the show, I was like trying to put together a lot of like things that I've been loving and I've been a big fan for the past few years and for a long time anyway. A wonderful book by um, Kasho, who was an illustrator um, on the 20s in, in Japan and he used to illustrate um, some magazines for young girls, um, the Moga girls. And um, he was great because he, he used to have always he used to capture like um, the essence of the women in the 20s and he used to make like couples and design like one of the girls was always on a um, Japanese kimono and the other one was like um, dressed up in the 20s, so um, clapper dress. So the whole collection started a little bit like that. Um, I usually make these, um, these mood boards that they always start with color and I start putting um, images together and here there was like a lot of the influence of, uh, of Japan in the 20s and, um, and the other way around as well, so it's just like mixing a little bit both of them and all the textures, all the fur, all the chunky needs. Um, then I start creating a palette for this um, color mood and I start making some swatches where I um, mix all fabrics and suede and, and chiffons and everything comes out of that, even the shoes like for this um, particular part of the show, they were all suede with lace inserts, so um, everything belongs to the same kind of um, story and you can see some puffer jackets and like some 20s opera coats and everything just like um, ends up mixing together. Then the, um, the story went into like more autumn leaf kind of colors and here you can see the images that I was telling you about Casho. There was always a pair of them, they were like always really young and one was dressed up in a kimono and the other one was um, drip, dressed up in a flapper dress with the um, 20s hairdo and accessories and so on. And, and I thought it was amazing and how I could combine the two of them. Um, and also all these colors they inspired me for the palette. I mean, I was using all these autumn leaves, prints, and, and the way I usually work, um, I start with the prints and from the prints I start making like little techniques for like um, cardigans and then I start doing some other um, neat work pieces like for chunky knits and then some little embroideries like different embellishments, some more knits. So everything starts from the colors and the prints and, and then there's a whole lot of variations from that. Then over here there is um, what I like to call the, the winter pink because uh, we're always so sad and like when the winter comes and after all these months of snow um, it's so nice to be able to dress with uh, like different colors and I took this print of, um, of a cherry blossom and I just tried to, to develop it in, in like um, lots of different ways. So I did it on, on Georgette and then I did it on Jersey, some nylon and then there was like uh, lots of different techniques like um, this suede with like some tool applique and then like um, with feathers and chiffon and again like um, some more suede with lace and, and chiffon and the leaves. And again here you you can see the same story. You've got all these twenties flapper dresses mixed with all these twenties and thirties kimonos and like the whole universe melts and then it creates all these different techniques with feathers and like the shoes again were made out of suede and it had like chiffon fabulous um cherry blossom boots who had they were all in shirling and they had like cherry blossom crawling out of the boots as well. So everything is pretty much into that kind of um, spirit. And then um, at the end everything went more dramatic and now the colors were like more black and purple and, and mauve. And then I took the prints and I did different techniques like all these um, tufting technique. And then there was like all the other chunky needs with uh, the sweet peas in organza. And even the boots um, had like all these sweet peas hanging and they were made into suede as well. And again, you had like all the combinations of all these purple and kimonos and with the 20 flappers and, and so on. And I always feel so good when, when I, I can see the reflection of all the inspiration and the hours um, in the library and like um, looking at things and researching. And then when, when you see the final thing and, and, you, and you see that it's a reflection of the hard work that is behind, then somehow it's some kind of satisfaction. Yeah. The idea is we was to make like um like a, a piece which is very sportswear like a puffer but um but like very evening like and uh, the colours are like very satin, boudoir, very lingerie and then um and then it's got all these Chinese embroidery onto it on the front and on the back. So finally you have a piece like 
extremely sophisticated and uh, but are warm at the same time, so it's quite practical. These um, braids all made with fringes, they're all like um, hand knotted silk fringes. And I always try to put a lot of love and, and, um, in every single piece. It's way dressed, like it was taken like from an old um, sample, it was like with lace, and then we recreate the, the idea of the flower embroidery the suede body and the chiffon, so you feel like um, nicely wrapped with the suede right against your body. And then you have your frilly skirt to go on top of it, and the puffer on top of it, so it's a, uh, it's a whole lot of things about layering things up. You get pieces like this fully beaded dress, which weighs a ton, and it's got the prints, the original prints of the collection, and then a whole lot of tubes, um, like embroidery onto them body and um, there's a lot of um, pane velvet, some of the velvets from the 20s and um, those flappers are just like uh, the colors are like very autumny and warm, like a little cocoon cape all hand knitted with bits of chiffon and like chiffon and merino on the color. And, uh, I mean if you see the rug, the beginning is all the beige and you have all your oranges and you have all these like chiffons and and there's always like a coordination, like you will have your little um, chiffon dress and then you have like a little cardigan to go over it. Um, and then we go into the pinks and then there's all these crazy pieces like this tiny little cheung san, which is all fully covered with lace acadam, cherry blossoms, little puffer vest, which has got the cherry blossoms crawling onto it and it's like a, a uh, white plastic zipper to make it a little bit more modern. It's a um, pleated dress with um, the embellishment on top of it, which is strapping um, the pleats onto it. All these jersey, which I just just feels so sexy and, and comfortable to be just wearing around the house. And little suede pieces with the tulle and the chiffon and the feathers. And a little mini skirt so you get your fabulous evening gown and the mini skirt so you can make your choice this lingerie piece made out of pink suede with the lace incrustation and the chiffon little frills into it with a little cardigan to go over um, and this piece I love, the, the, the chunky knit with the cherry blossom crawling all over so that's quite fun this was all entirely made out of shangle feathers and organza rounds and it was a wonderful lady, Daisy who works in the garment district and, and she like um, glue one by one every single feather to make the flowers and to make the organza and the result is this amazing piece of art. And then you have pieces like this um, coat which is it's got all the cherry blossom motif on it and you have the same one but on felted wool all printed and with a fox color as well. And then um, over here, um, everything starts getting a little bit more dramatic and um, um, I did a lot of magenta onto it and this was a little homage to Natalie Gibson, which was my teacher at St. Martin's and she's always, she's got pink hair and she always uh, wears magenta and I just wanted to do a little tribute to her on my first show. Um, Pane velvet dress with all the flowers crawling down. And this one is like um, the velvet garden, which has got all lace cut flowers like crawling all the way up into the dress. And you have like the same cape that you saw earlier on. You've got it here in black. These um, shirling coats with the fox trims as well. Like this puffer coat, which is all made in pane velvet. And it's just like, it's like a 20s coat, which has been totally inflated. It's some um, cherry blossom fully sequins with some ostrich feathers at the bottom. I always like to create knee techniques, like all these huge paillettes. They've been now uh, all um, embroidered and cut into different sizes. Like when we did um, the cherry blossom um, embroidered onto the tool, and then it went into the um, ostrich feathers, and then with all these um, jet beading onto it, and the result was quite stunning. Like little mini skirts, laser cut with the um, sweet pea flowers. Also to the um, chunky knees where the flowers are crawling out. Even chunkier knees as well. So this is it for now. And um, we're just working on the new collection.